a message from the mother. A channel by Dr. Susan Carroll. April 4, 2012. 26,000 years ago, I, your mother Earth, was in front of the galactic center, just as we are today. However, then I didn't have the added boast of the many other cycles that are closing now to assist me with my slash our ascension. Furthermore, my humans were too young and had not learned all the necessary lessons to be able to awaken in the manner that you have now. Yes, in many ways my world was more evolved, but we were not ready for ascension. My humans and my planetary body had to fall into the great depths of darkness from which we are now arising in order to have the maturity and the tenacity to focus our consciousness in the extremely disciplined manner that is necessary for planetary ascension. 26,000 years ago I, Gaia, was also too young. I was not ready to release my form into the One, and my inhabitants were not ready to end their game of physicality. However, after the long dark night, which we have survived, releasing our physicality is a joyful thought. The game of being physical has not been very enjoyable for millennia, and the last millennia has been abhorrent to our pristine spirits. Dear human ones, you can release the game now and return to your true self. The process of ascension has begun and at long last week, person and planet, are returning to the higher expressions of our human and planetary self. Nonetheless, we are not leaving our physical world. We are transmuting it into its higher and original frequency of the fifth dimension and beyond. Do you remember, dear humans how we chose to band together to create the form of my physical earth body many millions of years ago? Some of you chose to be components of my earthen form, whereas others chose to live within my form, on my surface, in my waters and slash or in my atmosphere. Our planetary beginnings. We started our earth lives at a fifth dimensional frequency which gradually lowered into an upper fourth dimensional frequency. Our reality resonated at that frequency for millions of years. Many civilizations made a home on my body. Among them were the Arcturians, the Anarchy, the Draconians, the Syrians, the Pleiadians, the Andromedans, the Antarians and many more. These early civilizations made the same mistakes that you, my humans, have made, but these civilizations eventually grew up and moved off my earth. They became adults. Again and again, my children grew up and left me, usually leaving me alone to restore my form. Now, I have become a great, great, great grandmother. I have raised many civilizations and watched as they moved away to create their own lives. As many of my older humans know, it is more difficult to restore yourself as a grandmother than it was as a young person. I, Gaia, am a person too. I have a different body than you but I am the sentient upon which many of you have experienced many incarnations. Now my body has become too limiting for me, just as your clay vehicles have become too limiting for you. I, your mother earth, am now ready to be free of the dark polarity that incessantly pulls me off my center. Besides that, I am tired of being a polarized planet and am ready to become a unified, fifth dimensional star. However, I am still your mother, and I do not want to abandon you my children. My plant and animal kingdoms are ready to transmute back into their original crystalline form. However, many of my humans are still asleep. Some of them have even become so dark that they will not be able to transmute themselves within their present incarnation. My lost children. However, being a mother, I don't want to give up on any of you. Therefore, I have called every civilization that has ever lived and evolved on my body to come home to assist you my human children. Actually, you are their descendants and have learned many of your errant ways from your ancestors. However, the main limitation that the lost ones among you have is that some of you are still addicted to the polarities of the third dimension. These lost ones want to experience the highs that make them feel good, which result in a circle down into the lows that make them feel bad. In this manner, the polarities of good flash bad, love flash fear and light flash dark continued. In order for these lost children to free themselves of this addiction, they must release the roller coaster of their emotional high cycling down into emotional lows and back up into their original emotional high. Dear children of my heart, I ask that you surrender the excitement and challenge of polarities so that you can stay in the comfort of peace and calm. Once the need for peace and calm settles in, you will no longer need to seek the high, which eventually drop into the lows. 
It is then, dear children, that your roller coaster will gradually grind to an easy slope on which you can relax long enough to find and maintain your core. Your core is the center place in between the highs and lows. Within the core, you can feel safe enough to begin your process of transmutation. I, your mother Gaia, have been replacing my third dimensional carbon matrix with my fifth dimensional crystalline matrix so that I can align my physical earth with my higher expression of new earth. Many of my ascending children are doing the same. Dear lost children of my body, I ask that you follow these ascending ones and turn your attention toward your multidimensional perceptions. Where your attention is, there you are also. Thus, when you focus your attention on your multidimensional abilities they will expand exponentially. Among these abilities is your return to multidimensional thinking and unconditional love. During your process of fully returning to your higher expression of self, you will remember that you are all the human representatives of our planetary self. Fortunately, there is no hurry for multidimensional thinking and unconditional love resonate to the now of the one. Therefore, there are no deadlines for rushes to the finish line. New Earth is here now. I know, for I have pulled New Earth into my aura. As your loving mother, I share this aura with you, my human children. Hence all you need to do is to remember to perceive that we, persons and planet, are home now. Gaia, your Earth Mother. As channeled by Susan Carroll. Website, www.multidimensions.com.